going on guys? Jordan Shallow here with Elite FTS. A uh, little bit of clarification on an article I wrote about how to cue effectively the safety squat bar squat uh, to better overload your erectors. Now, the erectors are an interesting muscle group that helps stabilize your spine. They kind of run vertically from your pelvis up through your thoracic spine. Now, if you're a power lifter, having a strong upper back is gonna be paramount in building a big total. And this is a great adjunct, a great accessory exercise to help overload the erectors if loaded properly. So when you unrack the safety squat bar, the handles are gonna be out in front of you. The common mistake that people make is that in the hole, they start to push up on the handles. This takes the load off the erectors. Muscles for the most part, especially muscles of stability, have a function and an action. And we wanna train the function. The function is how we're actually gonna stabilize the spine. So a lot of people think we wanna train the erectors like you train a bicep by shortening it, right? Stretch and shorten. But what we actually wanna do is we wanna leave it in that unstable position so it stabilizes the spine the greatest degree possible under the heaviest load possible. So you set up your squat stance as you would for this particular um, center of mass. So a lot of people tend to go a little bit wider. It's a bit more of a hip dominant squat. But the key before you initiate, as we spoke about in the article, is actually tucking your rib cage down and pulling the handles into you. Now this causes a flexion in the upper back. So my low back is neutral, my upper back is flexed. Now the erectors are turned on. This is where the erectors function as anti-flexors. So we wanna maintain as much flexion in the upper back as we can for the longest duration possible. That's how we're gonna get the most bang for our buck when utilizing the safety squat bar to squat. So you take an inhale, breath in, the rib cage is gonna come up, that's fine. But before we descend, we're gonna tuck this rib cage down, that puts our upper back into flexion. Then as we descend into the movement, we're constantly trying to pull those handles into us and create the greatest amount of flexion under load to really start taxing those erectors as they function as anti-flexors. They're hanging onto that thoracic spine to make sure it doesn't go any further. So breath in, rib cage up. Before you descend, rib cage down, that creates that flexion in the upper back go into your squat pattern and we're pulling the handles into us the entire way. And then even on the way up where most people would push up on the handles and extend the upper back, we wanna keep those erectors functioning, pull in and then leg drive up, keeping the handles pulled down the entire time and the upper back flex. This is gonna allow for consistent or constant tension through the erectors and help you get the most out of building upper back strength when utilizing the safety squat bar. Hey, wait. <clears throat> All right, guys, if you've been, uh, I had a stupid shit. All right, guys, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, select the notifications, but also keep in mind, we do have a website. It's EliteFTS.com. On our website, we put up two new articles every single day, seven days a week. We also have training logs that are updated daily, coaching blogs, which are updated daily archived history of over a million Q and A's that are on the website. So check out our website. Also check out our Instagram, which is at elite FTS and my personal Instagram, which is at under the bar as we're always putting new content there as well. So check them all out because we have different content on all different channels. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my head.